and welcome to your gold market update for today the 28th of december we we'll hope you're well hope you're enjoying any time that you have off with family and friends and of course let's pick apart what's happening in the markets today thanks for seeing the analyst at go markets to lead you around the markets now okay and overnight on the us we saw a mixed session the dow actually closed in positive territory but was the only major index to do so Big tech underperformed significantly. We saw bond yields rise. We saw some weaker housing data. And none of these contributed well to market sentiment generally. US futures are near neutral in the early Asian trading, but Asian indices are negative. Following that weaker US lead overall, the ASX was down around about 0.4% towards the lows of the session when we last looked. European equity futures are also pointing to a slightly lower kickoff. Um, VIX futures are near neutral at this stage, but it's just starting to drop slightly on the back of that performance in Asia so far. The US dollar index is still holding support. It is looking slightly stronger against most currencies today. Gold retested 1825 resistance before pulling back. And copper also looked stronger in the early part of the session and pulled back overnight in the US but may still test recent highs as it is in an uptrend. Oil fell to break resistance and remained within that range it's been in of, of late, but we do have some EIA oil data out that may be interesting tonight in terms of the price of oil. Crypto has failed to capitalize on early enthusiasm in Asia yesterday and really are trading within a very tight range at this stage, both Bitcoin and Ethereum failed to push higher through key levels it's another quiet day today with more u.s housing numbers due tonight really the only significant piece of data that's going to impact on markets we suspect over the course of the next few days is the weekly jobs number tomorrow outside of that we just aren't seeing any significant buying pressure going on let's have a look at a couple of charts however that have caught our eye today Oh, we're going to start with the GB pound yen. The yen's looking weaker. The yen's looking weaker against most currencies this morning, uh, and you can see that in this candle here uh, from the early part of Asia. Although trading volumes are really quite low at this stage, if we look at the 30-minute chart. We've earmarked around this sort of one. Th if we look at the oh, God, if we look at the GB pound yen. Uh, you can see there we've sort of earmarked around about this 161 level has been important on this four hour chart. We are seeing the end weakness across the board this morning. If we look at a shorter term time frame, you can see this push up towards 161. The significance of this is obvious. If we do get a breach of this, we could see some significant buying pressure. We're around about 25 pips away from that at the moment, but look as though there is some buying pressure uh, coming in to this particular pair. So that'll be one we'll keep an eye on over the next few hours. Very damp day on the ASX, not much rising. Wally Parsons have an interesting chart here, one to keep an eye on over the next couple of days or so. You can see there, we've been in an uptrend now for the last two weeks or so. And you can see that push back up to this key level at around about 15.40. That is significant on the daily chart. And should we get a breakthrough of this? Uh, then perhaps we may be up to test $17 in the medium term if this buying pressure continues. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.